right, what's up everybody? Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a sheath for a knife. Um, this isn't the only way to do it, this is just the way that I do it. Uh, I'm going to go step by step with the processes. So first off we need to make a template for our sheath. We take our knife that our sheath is going to be covering and we get a piece of paper, fold it in half and make our template. Well from there we cut our template out and then we move over to the leather and we unfold it and we trace it on not forgetting to put on our belt strap for later on we'll need that for securing the sheath to a belt and here we're going to cut it out with some scissors i know this is a little unorthodox but we're going to go in and clean up those edges from the scissors here in just a second so we're cleaning up the edges from the scissors on the belt sander. This gives it a smooth finish um, and allows us to get some clean lines whenever we're putting our stitch groove in. Now we're going to clean those edges off even more with our edge beveler so that we get even better results. So the particular leather I'm using here is seven to nine ounce veg tan leather. Um, you can get it from just about any leather supply store. Or I get my stuff from Tandy. So here we're using a stitch groover, obviously where the stitch will lie. And it gives us a reference point to where our tooling is gonna be. Maker's mark, gotta have the maker's mark in the back of the sheet. And then we proceed to tool the sheet uh, it should be damp, you should be wetting it down with water, and yeah, just whatever tooling you want, the sky's the limit. I did a relatively simple one on this one. So here you see me putting texturing all along the back side of the sheath. This doesn't need to be done, this is just something I enjoy doing. Um, I think it adds a rustic look to a, a sheath. We're doing it all the way around. And this particular sheath was for a customer who had a particular brand. So I traced it on there with some pin, and then I am carving it out with a swivel knife. And then, as you'll see, I will further pull out material with my edge screwver. And here I was helping the material lay down flat, forcing it down with this little tool. And that leftover ink isn't going to affect it because we're going to dye this portion of it black. Now we need to make a welt. So a welt sits in between your stitches. Your, your stitches actually go through it, uh, preventing your knife blade to cut your stitches. So your knife edge sets on that welt preventing it cutting through your stitches so your sheath lasts a lot longer. So we've got the welt cut out, we're going to glue it on there. Um, I just use some regular old Gorilla wood glue. It's a lot more inexpensive than uh, leather glue and it works just the same. Once our welt is on there, it's all secured by the glue. I mean, you don't have to give it tons of time. It just has to be on there enough to stick. We are going to dye the inside and outside of the sheath. I don't have any particular way that I do it. I, I actually like seeing the lines, like think, think it gives it more of a rustic feel. And then we're going to dye in the brand with a black ink. Now we're going to glue our belt loop on and bend it over and glue it and let that get tacked up enough so that we can stitch it on there and it will be permanent. Again with the stitch groover, making this a line for our stitches to lay in. Looks a lot more professional and it reduces the risk of your stitches being worn on. I'm hitting it with uh, an alignment tool that lines up all where my stitches go and then hitting it on the drill press 
and the, the stitches will lie in the drill press, the holes that the drill press makes here. Sanding it down a bit, taking up any, off any high edges. And thread and needle like, a, like an old granny. Perfect first time. And we're just gonna hand stitch that sucker in. I do a saddle stitch. Make sure it's nice and tight and then pulling it through and burning it off on the ends. Now it's time to fold the sheath over, gluing it and allowing it to dry so that we can stitch this portion of it. So again, we're using our alignment tool here to get our holes just right and evenly spaced. It makes your work look a lot better if you do this. And here we are drilling the holes that our stitch will lie in. And we're just stitching it by hand. It takes a little bit of time, but the outcome looks really good. And again, we burn off the ends, making it to where that stitch does not come out. And we trim off any excess and we will sand it down to where we want it, to where it looks nice. Make sure not to sand too far to interfere with our stitches. Using our edge beveler to clean it up a little bit more, make it look a lot nicer. Now we are to the wet forming process of it. So what I do is I get the sheath wet and then wrap the knife that is going in the sheath in saran wrap, as you can see here, and putting it in there and just molding it with my hands so that it fits exactly to that specific knife. This makes for higher quality, it makes for a better feel. And now we're going to finish it, buff the edges, make sure just all the little details line up and we're going to finish it off with some renaissance wax. We're going to rub it on there with our hands to generate a little bit of heat and brush it with a nice leather brush and it turns out a really nice finish on it. So yeah, that's about it. And as you can see here, it fits very well because of the wet forming that we did. But that's about it on uh, how to make a sheath. So y'all let me know what y'all think. And uh, let me know what you want to see in the next video.